Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the truth and the internet. So let's get into it. So the question in question was basically, Frederick, how is how can I learn the most important lessons of software development? And the short answer is war stories, my friend. That is the way that you solve this problem. Let me explain. So something that is very hard to understand in the beginning of things. I know I had a really hard time with this because honest to God, guys, sometimes you may have heard me say that, oh, juniors have usually this, uh, this, you know, they go really wide and they want to learn all the things and they get really passionate about things. They get really enthusiastic and all of these things are great things. These, these are natural great things and then I then then the but comes and I kind of say but being pragmatic and understanding the reality of things etc 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 is the thing that is going to make you successful and that is almost like a little bit of a letdown and the reason why I give you this information is because I did the same thing I did the exact same thing I um, I don't think it's much of a stretch for me to say that I was the most religious fanatic of all the people that I worked, I went up and came up with, came to school with when I was stu studying computer science and software development. There is no discussion, I would say, that I had, if I was, uh, that I was the most religious of these people. And it's only because I was that way and I could, and then I got introduced to some very important people. I will count them as the most important people that I've ever worked with and how they actually, I almost, I think the fairest thing to say is that they decoded me, actually. One part was of course their inter in intervention and like helping me out and the other part was that I actually started seeing that, oh, the, the, I got a sensation of pain from my own work, which led me to question that well maybe this thing here it says in this book here that i should do this all the time but it's not really working all that well it makes things a little bit more complicated than they, than they need to be and that's when i started realizing that maybe all of these different things that you find on the internet regarding different tools and regarding different practices they're not the most important thing in the world maybe not all of it is true and I'm not saying that the person who's doing the presentation isn't actually being honest about what they're saying. I'm saying that maybe all of these are just suggestions. Maybe these are just ideas. Maybe they are not hard facts. Maybe it's just that, well, we're trying to have a conversation or rather that's what the person up there on stage is trying to have. They're trying to sell their product or they're trying to sell their idea or they're trying to pitch an idea. They're trying to in some fashion get to change my world understanding. They want to affect my way of looking at the world so that I will see things from their perspective. But the thing that lacks in this conversation is that they don't know what my world situation is. They don't know what my code base looks like. They don't know what my work situation looks like. They don't know what my company looks like. So all they can do is converse from their perspective. Now, what's interesting about this is that for me, I had a little bit of an epiphany. And the epiphany that I had was that there are people who are pitching things and then there are people who are sharing experiences. And there's a very big important difference between these two things. One person might be pitching a specific tool, but the other person might be telling you about what we call war stories. Now a war story in IT is basically just, all right, we had this major big pro project that we wanted to switch from this tool or to this tool or we wanted to try something out and here are the results. The, this is the story of how we did this. this. We had these challenges and we had to make these trade-offs, etc, etc, etc. And before long I started realizing that these are the real lessons of IT. These are the things that is going to make the difference for you. Knowing about various ways of doing something through a tool or some something like that is very useful, but it's even more useful to listen to people. And I pretty much exclusively try to search for these sorts of things at this point. It's, like, it's really, really hard 
to find really quality or quality war stories or quality experiences or quality content regarding people who have actually done something and who have an idea around how to uh, wh why this is working like the way they express a problem that they've had and the challenges with that problem and then talk about all right the, this is how we solved it and then motivate why they think that this was a good solution to this specific problem this sort of content this is how you get the real stories like this is the dirt this is the this is the creme de la creme if you want to progress your your understanding of how to work in software development because they these are real stories about actual problems they are not they are going about telling you about how to solve something in the right way because usually when you have a like a tool or something like that they're not actually telling you what the problem is that they're solving they're just giving you a solution to a generic problem that you may or may not have and that's useful sure if you are if you're the sort of person who has a little bit of experience and you can tell that oh yeah this is actually true i do actually have this problem and this is a very good fit for that problem you would be amazed at how few people actually have this mindset when they're being inspired Quite a lot of people within engineering usually get inspired, and this, uh, trust me when I say this, there are quite a few companies out there who knows this. This, like selling to developers is possible. It's more than possible. And the way that you sell to developers is that you make something feel very convenient or very clever or something of this nature. Trendy, if you will. That's what the hype is. That's what the hype, the, the hype trains actually create for us. They make you excited about something and then you adopt it without really understand, re, uh, without really thinking so much about your own work situation. You're just, just pulling in something and you haven't really reflected all that much on whether or not this is a good fit for your company. But see, that's the beautiful thing about war stories. And this is my, as I said, this is my little personal secret that I'm sharing with you. You see, war stories are not necessarily here to sell you something. They're very rarely they're selling you something. Basically all they are is a declara declaration of one company's struggle. It's a story. That's exactly what it is. It is a story where at the end they leave you with some good thoughts regarding this sort of situation. And it's more often than not, at least I feel like I can relate to some parts of their struggle and I get some nice ideas of the sort of problems that they had and the sort of solutions that they were used in order to solve that problem. They're not necessarily selling me a tool. They're just telling me that we had all these issues and then we thought, how can we solve this problem? And then we said, all right, this is a way. Sometimes it's a tool. Sometimes they change their work practice and sometimes they build their own thing. They're solution oriented. They're not tool oriented. And that's the sort of people you really want to listen to because they usually don't have an agenda or they're not pushing something for you to adopt. They're simply trying to share their learnings with you. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're looking for the most important lessons that you can get in IT, I will argue that these lessons are found in the war stories of other companies, of other developers, where the, and I absolutely love this. I absolutely love watching videos on YouTube or reading blogs about people who say that, oh, this is how I set up my work environment or this is how I set up a, I don't know, a Kubernetes cluster with GitLab, etc., etc. They're just showing you how they do it. I'm not interested in a pitch about GitLab and why it's the best thing ever because that's basically just, it's just a sales pitch. I'm interested in this is how I did this thing and I have this problem and I didn't really know how to solve it and I thought okay let's try this out and see how it works out and these are the things that I learned from doing this. It's basically show and tell. These war stories will help you more the, uh, once you've progressed above the level of understanding the basics of the industry, they will help you more when you're a mid-level developer or something like that or semi, like a semi-senior junior, let's call it that, than anything else. This is at least, least what I've found. They are the most valuable lessons that you can possibly learn from as a software engineer. Have a great day.